a rapidly growing population coupled with global warming means that water is increasingly set to become the world's most precious commodity. One of the solutions to this problem can be found within clouds. An average rain cloud contains about 8 million tons of rainwater and therefore there's a vast quantity of untapped fresh water in the sky and this is where cloud seeding comes in to address the growing needs for water around the world. Most rainmaking techniques used today originated back in 1946 when scientists discovered that by dropping particles of a chemical called silver iodide into cloud tops they could trigger rainfall. Since then, countries all over the world have experimented with different ways to squeeze rain out of the clouds. China spends more on cloud seeding than any other country in the world. Dr. Brungis is in Mali, West Africa, to test out a new technique he's devised with colleagues at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. It involves the use of pyrotechnic flares to deliver a special seeding material into the base of a cloud. These are the so-called microscopic flares. They consist of salts inside. As we burn them, the smoke produces the particles, the salt particles, that will then be taken up into the cloud and participate in the rain formation. Once released into the cloud's updraft, each one of the hygroscopic salt particles becomes a seed around which a single water droplet can form. These droplets collide with each other and grow, eventually becoming heavy enough to fall out of the cloud as rain. Modification today is an increasingly precise science which can reap huge benefits for the many countries that suffer from severe water shortages. In the last few years we've literally been on all five continents. A lot of our work focused on Southeast Asia, Africa, North and South America, and then also in Europe, Italy and Greece. There are currently more than 47 countries, more than 150 programs, cloud seeding programs, going on as we speak. Ron, you can go back. Cloud seeding seems to be making a change for the better for many people in the world today. But it's a science that is born out of a murky and troubled past.